first off, I, I always think that my house is the quietest place to shoot something, and inevitably there is now a tree trimmer, so I apologize for that. I, we shot the bay here one time, the confessions of the bay, and there were lawnmowers in every which direction of everybody's yard, so I apologize. So I had these three weeks off from work, and it started with all my friends and family were busy, and nobody could go play with me anywhere, and nobody wanted to go anywhere, and I was just like, boo, what am I going to do? So... Um, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about health and um, taking care of ourselves and um, I know for me personally I would go to the OBGYN ever since I was you know whatever 14 or something and that was the only doctor I had that was the only checkup I got was getting my blood pressure and my you know weight once a year or my pap smear or whatever and then um, something led me to this internist I think my husband led me I think he knows her and um, so the last couple of years I've been doing a physical, which is a new thing, and um, I found it really incredible. And I and I now feel like I need to tell people about it because I now I just I just went to her, and I have gone for a mammogram. That I have to say, she gave me the paper last year, and I noticed on my way to the mammogram uh, imaging center that last year's paper was in the side compartment of my car. So I'm so bad because I didn't do it last year and I just thought, you know, I just have to get more involved with my health and taking care of myself. And so I, I this, this week I went for the mammogram, I got an ultrasound of my ovaries just to make sure everything's uh, good and I got um, a blood, whole blood workup, whole blood panel. Tomorrow I'm going for a colonoscopy. So Right now is the last time you're going to see me cheery today because uh, starting in a couple hours, I have to do my, I brought them out to show you, my three bottles of this stuff that uh, starts cleaning you out and then you follow it with, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen, but I don't think it's going to be good. No. <laughs> I actually know it's going to happen because I can't believe it's been 11 years, but 11 years ago I went and did one and Stephen Nichols and I he came and shot a little video about the event. Not he didn't go in and actually shoot the a procedure, but um, and when I looked at to see when that was, it was 11 years ago, which is amazing. But um, you should do a colonoscopy every 10 years anyway. But my intern says that she thinks that things happen between five and seven. So, um, but I hate going to doctors. Not that I'm afraid of them. It's just annoying because I have other things I want to do with my life. But I realized during this whole thing that I have to start taking it more seriously. And if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody's going to take care of us. And I, I'm the biggest procrastinator. I mean, even my scripts for work, I, I, I've, had, I've been off for two and a half weeks, and I barely looked at them the other day. I have a ton, and I was like, okay, when am I going to sit down and learn this? And I know it's going to be on Sunday, the day before I go back. I'm just ridiculous that way. But I'm trying to turn a new leaf here and, um, and take care of these things. So uh, I talked to Mandy, my famous editor, about what we should do this week, and I, I wanted to inspire you, one, to take care of your health, and to go see your internist and get your physicals, and follow up on these things, because we just let it slide, and things happen, and things that you don't realize are going on inside this machine of ours. Uh, yesterday, when I went to get my ovary ultrasound, I was talking to the woman, who was doing it and she was uh, saying that she sees so many women my age and just all the hormone craziness and and I had told her that I had done before uh, bioidentical uh, bioidentical hormone pellets which is where they they put them in your hip and it's they're like little time release little tiny pellets they look like little pieces of rice and they would last about three months and you would feel incredible truly truly incredible and I did that for about three years and then um, because I, I, for me, it wasn't hot flashes or total crazy moods. It was more achy, like I can't even begin to tell you, like I'd been hit by a car. And that went on for probably nine months, and I, could, I didn't sleep at night. Every single night I woke up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and could not go back to sleep. So that was my hormone journey, and I know for every woman it's different. And this woman was saying that she was going to go see this doctor to get the pellets, and her husband was saying, like, so when's your appointment? When, when is it? I mean, honey, when's that appointment? Uh, because it's a maddening time. And people don't really map it out for you. And everybody has a different thing. I, I remember my sister had such terrible hot flashes. I'd be talking to her and I would see, like, it was like a train coming of this red, 
across, you know, and then out, and she, you know, she's outside. Ooh, oh my god, I didn't have that thankfully, but it's a rocky journey, and I think that we shouldn't suffer. We shouldn't or suffer in silence. Um, I'd see a doctor, figure out what's up. They have all kinds of things, little creams and different things. I, um, in the end, my husband just said to me after three years, I think maybe why don't you try not doing it anymore? And I was terrified because I was feeling so incredibly fabulous. And I went off of it and first I just tried some like little patches and things and they gave me a terrible rash. I think the sticky stuff from the patch. So I just stopped doing that because my whole stomach was polka dotted. And, um... And now I have to say I'm clean and sober. I don't take anything. And I feel really great. And I think that it just sort of was a bridge to get me from before to the fabulous after of my mid-50s, which is, like, incredibly great. So um, just a little sidebar, just a little thing. Don't be afraid of it. Um, I don't want to be someone who's recommending something because I'm not, I'm not a doctor, although I do play one on TV. But um, I don't, it's so cliche, I know. Um, but for me and several of my friends, it was a lifesaver. And it kind of got us through the hump. And then um, now, I'm, now I'm doing great and I don't, and I sleep well and I, I, uh, I seem to be doing okay. And I take a, you know, plus 40 multivitamin. I didn't see the plus 50, but I take the plus 40. But um, just take care of yourself. Listen to your body. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. That's the biggest thing. I think we're all in denial because we're just, you know, either don't want to know or we're lazy or tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, maybe, maybe the answer really is today. And the other thing is, is about our beauty. I mean, I'm not a crazy person about beauty, but I do think it's important to kind of hold it together. And I think having the job I have at least pushes me to kind of save it from going off the cliff. And uh, I work with a lot of beautiful women who are just ageless and there's beautiful skin and with the big, they wear the big hats in the sun. Well, I'm out sailing like almost every week and I love it. But I try to put on my 50 sunscreen and put my hats on and I try. And my friend Cynthia, uh, who I know you, she's been a guest blogger and she's a stylist and She's in her early 60s, and she said to me once, I, she, she, saying I, refuse to let it go, and that she's just not going to become a, a suburban gal letting it all hang out, that she is going to try to keep it together, and she goes kickboxing, and she walks a gazillion miles, and she does whatever, so the first thing that slips when I'm working all the time is my diet and exercise. Like most people, if you're super busy, if I have to get up at 6 a.m. and be at work and uh, be there all day and have all this memorizing and then I get home and I'm exhausted from getting up so early and I have more memorizing and I, the last thing I do is, 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 is go to exercise. So now I actually just got something on my computer I'm going to try to do on those days, but it's just so hard. I, just, I guess I just work better doing it in the morning, but whatever your thing is, you know, I just know for me, here's my, here, I was just telling somebody this the other day, here's the thing. If I don't exercise, I don't feel like doing it, and it's almost like a wrecking ball is on my lap. It's almost this weird fear. I don't know what it is. It's a weird thing, and I just can't go, and I convince myself every which reason not to go. But if I force myself to go, and if I go, then it's contagious, and then I want to go, and then I feel bad if I don't go, and I feel like everything's going to slip if I don't. And I mean, I'm not a skinny person. I always have to work at it, and I'm always frustrated, too, that I don't drop 10 pounds overnight. But... I recommit and I keep recommitting and I think that is all we can do. All we can do is keep recommitting to trying to get it together. Even if it's just, I always see on the cover of Good Housekeeping, go walk a mile and this lady lost 30 pounds or something like that. So I haven't figured out how that works exactly. So I just signed up for a new exercise streaming. Um, but there is um, a kabillion DVDs you can buy of different people. Tracy Anderson's great. She does. Um, um, Jennifer Aniston and J Lo. There's another one that Shakira does. I think it's called AKT or something like that. Really good energetic girl, and you can get something from her online. There's a couple there's, of things you can do. Also, there's an app called SkyFit. There's um, a website called uh, Fitness Blender, and um, there's so many. If you look online, you can find something that works for you. 
or I mean, I like to go to classes because they, I, they inspire me. And when I just drag myself there, I get into it when I'm there. And I like cardio bar because it makes me feel a little bit like a dancer, and I'm not at all. But with I have to say cardio bar, and you could also uh, get the um, the DVD. <laughs> So DVD, CD, what's it called? Um, and I've done that. It's exactly the class. And it's it's pretty good. So you might want to send away for that too. But the thing about cardio bar, I just feel like it always it just makes my legs, it kind of pulls my legs together, makes them shapey, shapelier and um, my tushy picked up and, you know, all that. I'm still working on my arms. But um, anyway, there's something out there. Uh, there's and, and if nothing else, go walk your dog or go for a walk or just get moving. Get moving. Get moving. So I thought I'm going to recommit for these three weeks for sure and see, um, really watch my weight and exercise every day and go to the internist, rep, you know, get and whatever she told me to do, which was like four different big tests, go do all those and try something new at the um, med spa. Try you know, my husband has a med spa and I never, uh, rarely, I shouldn't say never, but rarely take advantage of what is there. And it's funny because in my 30s, I used to go religiously for facials with my friend Carrie and we'd go and seek out some great person in LA and as I got older, I think just time and I don't know what, I stopped going. Where now it seems is the time I really need to go. So today we're going to go do something crazy, this thing called microneedling PRP. Otherwise, I think it's been called a vampire facial, but you know, that sounds so Hollywood and that's not what this is about. I mean, it's actually a medical treatment, but what it does, I believe, and some professional is gonna explain it better than I do, but um, it does these little tiny, little tiny pricks that you can hardly feel and you can't really see. And, uh, but what it, it's almost like aerating your lawn or uh, almost like doing little damage underneath the skin and then your body produces collagen to repair the little bit of damage, but it's not anything you're going to see, the damages or anything. Um, I've done other ones too. I've done ones with like glycolic wash or kind of like that they, that supersonically exfoliates. And I mean, I don't go very often, but it's a real treat. So I'm excited today to go try this and maybe you'll notice, maybe you won't. <laughs> but I so this may be something that you haven't considered or maybe you will consider later. I don't know, but... Really, my point is there are a million things you can do to take care of yourself. But go get a facial, get a exfoliated, get a, you know, steam, you know, whatever it is. But just take care of yourself. I, my, my friend, my friend Carrie's mom, who we talked about, that's the first person I knew that had had a pedicure. And she always had pedicure and manicure. And they, oh, her, everything always looked so groomed and, and tidy and pretty, even if it was clear polish. But she just looked tidy. And with my daughter, too, I always had this thing about... Um, chip polish, ooh, no chip polish, you gotta take that off if it's chipped, and I mean, that became a big thing, and she's still, now she's 26, and she knows, ooh, get rid of the chip polish. You know, you may choose not to spend your money in that way, and that's fine, because you don't really need to. I have a little, um, you know, scrubber, a little scrubber block in my shower, and I scrub my bottom of my feet every time I take a shower, and I, and I moisturize my entire body right when I get out of the shower, every single time because your body's hot and moist and that lotion just soaks in. And um, there's incredible uh, facial products, masks and different scrubs you can make. If you go online, you can find a million things. And um, I also have like a little tiny scrub in my shower that I do a few times a week. And I, I actually use a really nice um, face lotion and I use Aqua Four as an eye cream, oddly. And that has helped me out so much because I was having all kinds of puffy eye problems. Now I use Aqua Four which is like Vaseline, but I don't know why it works, but for me it's working great. Um, and, um, but I just think, take the time. I never go to bed with makeup on. I'll, it, no matter what my state is, I will take that makeup off and wash my face and moisturize, use sunscreen. What I've discovered is that if I take good care of myself and I get my nice pedicure and manicure and I exfoliate and I moisturize and I take time to blow dry my hair or you know, if I, if I just take care of myself, I feel so much better about myself. You know, the days that I go to my cardio bar and then I run, I go, I might just stop at the market really quick. And then before you know it, the whole day's gone by and I'm still in my, you know, leggings and a wreck. And, and all day I feel so schlonky and terrible. But the days that I actually come home, shower, blow dry my hair, put my clothes on, put some makeup on and go out, I think I must put on a completely different air about myself with confidence because... 
the whole day feels better and, and, and people treat me differently and you know I, I, I just um, I just think it's important it's it's important to take care of ourselves inside and out and that's really really what this is going and we can cut all my extraneous things out but this is the thing if you don't take care of yourself who's going to and we only got one shot here one time and I think um, you should try it and commit recommit 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 I think that's always been my theme anyway right okay off to my um, PRP